Hey guys and girls, and welcome to episode 7B of Let's Play Bare Knuckle 3. In the last episode, we let the general die so that we could uh, access this alternative route. Uh, I haven't actually played this route in the longest time because whenever I play Streets of Rage 3, I normally save the uh, I normally save the general. So it's been quite a long time since I've been down this route. So uh, please forgive me if I kind of lose my way during this level. I generally forget a lot about it, but hopefully. If my memory will serve me correctly, things will be alright. Um, yeah, in this level, uh, we are on our way to the White House in order to um, to prevent the uh, the robot imposter from. Well, actually, no, I don't think he was actually mentioned as a robot imposter as in during as in during. I don't know what kind of English that is. All right, let's go go as far forward as we possibly can. I don't think it was mentioned as a robot imposter during the uh, Japanese version. I think any mentions of robots were made at all, except for the. Um, the Robot X that we saw at the, uh, the end of level 5, if I remember rightly. But anyway, I'm going slightly on off topic now. Um, <laughs> we've got to uh, prevent the, the imposter from speaking out at the White House, so um, yeah, that's pretty much the point of this level. And um, uh, one thing I should point out about this level, it's actually this level stands out more than anything else in um, the whole of Bare Knuckle 3, or uh, Bare Knuckle 3 and Streets of Rage 3, is that uh, in the Western version, it's actually a uh, city hall that we're going to. I should say that again, so I don't think I actually um, made that clear. It's city hall that we're going to. There we go. Uh, despite the fact that uh, coming up in the background, it is still blatantly the White House. Uh, I, for whatever reason, they just never changed it, and they just expect us to believe that we're going to city hall. I mean, you'll see the White House coming up shortly anyway. In fact, yep, there it is. The White House was never changed. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell is going on there. Uh, we have to go to City Hall because uh, it's actually the Chief of Police who's uh, the hostage in Streets of Rage 3, for those of you that don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, one thing that I actually... Um, one thing I noticed was... Uh, the, the, the small similarity between uh, Streets of Rage 3, or Bare Knuckle 3, whichever, I should really just pick one name and stick with it. <laughs> so, Streets of Rage 3. Uh, the similarities between uh, Streets of Rage 3 and Snatcher, of all games, because uh, uh, both games, they have uh, an imposter uh, posing as a chief of, in this case, in Streets of Rage 3, it's the chief of police, and in Snatcher, it's the uh, the Junker chief. And, you know, it's got both, uh, both of them uh, being, ouch! It's got both imposters of those two speaking out at an important conference. And that's pretty much where the similarities end, but I thought I'd mention it anyway, so, um... Uh, what? Ha <laughs> ha. Threw me straight into the woman. How stupid of you. I often wonder if the women are actually protesting something outside the White House, you know.
and the general just materialises out of thin air. Nice one. Except that it's not actually your fighting Shiva, you're going up against a, a justice believing kangaroo. Anyway, guys, yeah, even if it, even if it was a robot imposter, you know, the chief of police, or in this case, the general, I should say, it was Shiva all along, and um, she was a lot harder uh, this time around because he's got uh, he's got two or three new moves, and um, he's got the ability to block as well. He's got his uh, jumping palm, um, jumping there we go, jumping palm attack, and um, actually. Oh no, I think he's got a slam as well, but I think he probably did that in level 1 as well. I can't remember for sure because I always beat Shiva so easily in level 1 and um, it's a bit harder to beat this time around and um, there's a chicken. I really did not want to pick that chicken up here. I was going to say there's a chicken near the middle there, so just in case you know, if you don't know that it's there, you now know it's there. And I picked up a bit too early. early. I blame Shiva for that and his final crash. I, I, I actually, one thing I actually do love about fighting at the uh, final conference and stuff, all the press are still sitting there and they're still taking like photos and film footage and everything else. It's like, can you imagine what the newspapers would be saying the day after? It's like, you know, the imposter of the general gets defeated by a kangaroo. It'd be a sensation. I'm pretty sure Peter would be all over it. Final crash. Oh, you son of a bitch. I sometimes forget not to get too close to Shiva. I'm, I'm really glad you caused chip damage on uh, on this game because if you're good, that's just going to make the the, 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 the the battles. There we go. That's <laughs> just going to make the battles that much more irritating. Off of me. I, I, I don't know. Okay, I, I, I understand it's like memory limitation, what have you, but it would still be pretty cool to see the um, the, the fight take place on the screen, so the background. Or like on the ship on um, Street, Street Fighter 4. And you are dead! Killed by pointy kangaroo tail! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your front page photo for every newspaper around the world. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, the evil, the cunning, the conniving, the nefarious Mr. X, as he was watching everything the whole time. Obviously not too pleased about his, um, his uh, imposter general being defeated, but it's not the end. <laughs> so that's it for, uh, for, for stage 7B, everybody. So uh, join us next time where we'll be uh, doing stage 7A and taking the actual proper route to the proper end of the game. So until next time, take care of yourselves.